My name is Xavier, and welcome to RimWorld Beta 18. This time around, I'm going to be doing a medieval nomadic tribe no pause challenge. Uh, just like my old nomadic tribe, where we spend one season moving and three seasons in, in each base uh, until we get across the planet and leave. But this time, we're going to be using the massively awesome Medieval Times a gameplay altering mod. We'll be advancing from a tribe up through the medieval era. Although there will be some, like, gun to play from other people, uh, our tribe won't be using any guns whatsoever. And as usual, I won't be pausing. I'll get a little bit more into that soon, but I can finally start this Beta 18 campaign because as of this morning, the Psychology mod updated to Beta 18, and that's really the one I was waiting on. You can see here the list of mods I have and the order I have them installed. Also in the description down below is a link to all these mods. There's a few of them I had to edit, like Where is Rich Soil? Uh, and then Round Tables, I had to do manual edits to get them to work in Beta 18. And Wildlife, I in the link in the uh, the description of the mod, there is someone posted an updated version. But uh, JT Export, Tribal Signal Fire, and Refactored Work Priorities do not work, unfortunately. If they get updated, I'll use them. Uh, but until then, I won't be using them. Uh, now, for those of you who are new, since these series seem to draw a massive amount of new viewers to the channel, the whole point of the no pause that I do is, first, I enjoy it. Uh, just thinking a thousand miles a minute. But secondly, it's really to bring out the emergent narrative in the characters uh, and to have them just react to ridiculous things and asinine scenarios, which they get into because I never pause and because I'm always making mistakes as I'm not thinking everything through because I have to do it under the time constraint of never pausing. So that's kind of the, the concept. If you're here to watch RimWorld at its finest with all manner of like horror, despair, and emergent character narratives, then this is the channel for you. But... If you're here to watch the most boring gameplay ever where everything's done pers uh not personally, where everything's done... What the hell is it called? Perfectly! That's the word I'm looking for. God, this is not the place for you. Uh, as for the scenario here, I'm going through it right now. I'm going to do a tribal start, and I'm going to disable the one uh, the one thing, the incident with the, the lone animals go insane, because it's just annoying, and it really it serves no purpose. I've never had anything come out of that besides being annoyed, so I'm shutting that off. But otherwise, this is a default start for a tribe, and then I'm going to go for intense this time around, because I feel like extreme is literally impossible. Uh, on this kind of scenario because we're going to come across a million raiders while we're caravanning for a huge amount of time and without pausing and without like any kind of defenses it's just going to be a bloodbath in fact i've actually already spent 15 hours trying to play this campaign getting it ready getting the mods working doing some tests getting re re like re-familiarized with the game and I've failed them all on the first episode mind you or what would have been the first episode the seed name was furious there by the way uh, we're going to start in an arid shrubland, and that way we have some warmth, so we get some decent growing. We can stockpile some food for our first big caravan. Uh, the first year, we're going to spend four seasons in the in the base, and, we're gonna, and then we're going to leave on spring, the first, uh, the first spring. And then every year after that, we're going to leave on the first of the spring, and we'll spend most of the spring caravanning across the world. All the way across the world. So I'm going to go for this Arab shrub land right here with uh, small mountains, and we'll call that good. Uh, and then for the characters here, I'm just going to fast forward to the end when they're all set up. But basically, if you're not aware, all of my characters come from patrons in the uh, over at Patreon. And I could not, literally could not make this series without their support and also the ad revenue from these series. It's essentially a full-time endeavor to make videos, or, or at least to make as much videos as I make. So thank you to those of you who support me, enable me to do this. And simultaneously, if any of you are interested in being characters and supporting the channel and seeing more episodes, then you can do so uh, at the link in the description down below. But yeah, here's the full squad. We got Kazumi, Bez, Christine, myself, and Cinnamon. And let us see if for once I cannot be the chef and Christine might actually form a relationship with me. Let's get on in. Let's get on in. Now, I'm not sure if I mentioned this yet or not, but my plan for this season is to talk a little bit less than I normally do because I think I talk too much. Uh, however, it's going to be difficult because this first episode is just there's so many things to do. And I just have a I just when I think a million miles a second, I just talk a million miles a second. So uh, maybe after this episode, I'll reduce talking a little bit if possible. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Because I literally don't even pause for two seconds most of the time for two hours of gameplay. But anyway, what's this psychology update here? Um, 
Whoa, whoa, whoa. In other news, a Glitter World medicine, medical research firm has just disseminated a new permanent cure for sufferers of anxiety. That's kind of cool because in, um, in my Viking playthrough, we had something like 95% of characters by the end had anxiety. Uh, also, I think they did take heed of my suggestion to reduce the ridiculous sadism mental breaks that were just killing all the puppies in the whole colony. So that's pretty awesome. Caution there. Uh, procedure should only be performed by a highly skilled doctor. All right, well, I'm not going to worry about any of that. I guess we can cure anxiety at some point, but yeah. Here's our new colonist friends. Look at this. We got Shira over here. Slate. Slate made it into the colony as a monkey, friends. He made it in. He's in there. Oh, welcome, monkey Slate. And I do like the husky, and we also have a water heater as well. Let's hit the home key to undisable everything. Let's first go through... Okay, actually, you know what? Let's first, first look around before I even do anything. Where is the... the uh, fertile dirt. Nowhere. This town sucks. All right, well, let's make a let's make a base right here. Let's go to blueprints. I did import a new one here, micro base. This is going to be my micro base that I plop down for every colony right off the get-go. I think for now we'll toss this in right here. We'll leave a little bit of space on the right to expand for more room, but that looks good. Uh, let's go to orders. Uh, choppy choppy. A choppy choppy. Let's chop down all. Wow, there is like zero wood here. Wow. When I say there's zero wood here, I almost mean there's... Whoa, elef elefantes. Huh. This is kind of fun. I haven't played in this kind of zone for a long time. This is bringing me back to my my old uh, campaign. Uh, now, there's a new mod. I forget what it's called. It's in the mod list, but it shows you the mood colors behind here. Now, these bars were always here, if you never noticed them before. But now it highlights the colors uh, based on their mood. So, super blue, Christine's super happy. I'm, like, moderately happy. Same with Bez. Just a, a slight quality of life uh, improvement there in whatever mod that is. But the first thing I always do is give everyone their weapons. So let's do that first. Wow, there's a lot of there's a lot of tabs here this time around. So Christine's both, but she likes melee. I'm only shooter and I love it. So let's give me uh, the bow. Cinnamon's both, but loves melee. Bez is both. Uh, Kazumi has to be melee. So I think what we're gonna do here is let's give Bez the pila. Uh, let's give Cinnamon the other bow. Let's give Kazumi, so she can't do anything else, a stabby stabby, and let's give Christine a club. And, or, you know what? Maybe the jade knife instead. And then I even have an extra club here I can give to someone. Let's find somebody with the simple sidearms mod. I think it was... Where, what is Cinnamon taking? She's taking the bow? All right, we'll give her this club as a sidearm. Awesome. Next up, I gotta start working on food, right? Wow, we're actually getting a little bit of a base put together here. Let me throw down, before I do the food, a quick stockpile zone out here. I'm gonna grab this, I'm gonna go for clear all, and we're gonna throw in chunks. Great, now let's grab all these chunks, and we're gonna set those to haul. Oh, there's a couple of chunks over here as well, we'll haul those. Any chunks out in front? Yeah, we got all these, let's haul those. These things tend to never get hauled in my colonies until it's way too late. Let's haul all of these things as well, just get them up out of here. Uh, next is gonna be food, though. So for the food, I'm not going to use any of the, the default stuff here. I'm going to go strictly medieval this playthrough. Strictly medieval, so we need a fighter pit. Fighter pits require steel. Let's look around at the map really quickly for some steel. i got to find some here. Uh, oh, there we go. Perfect. I just found some right there. We'll grab... What the heck? Let's grab all of these things. Okay, select similar. Wonderful. Let's deconstruct that. Once that's done, we can pull the floors out, and that'll give us the steel we need to make our fighter pit. I think what I'm going to do here is just have a fighter pit like right there. We'll put a butcher's block right here, and there we go. Ye old medieval colony, friends. That's choppy choppy. This nonsense looks good. Also, there's some sandbags here. So the, the concept is we have very, very, very tiny rooms. Uh, we have a place to store the corpses and stuff right here. Let's do that right now. Stockpile zone right on in there. Great. So let's turn this on. Clear all. And we will not allow rotten, but we will allow not all corpses, but animal corpses. That's what I want in there. And that's pretty much it. But I'll also allow raw food. And that's that's this is kind of like our pantry of sorts. So that's the cook place. This is our medicine room. Now, uh, we can only make beds this time around. Or not beds, sorry. You can't make beds this time around because they're gated behind their own technology. So we're going to have to go for bed rolls. Bed rolls require... Uh, hides or they require plants. So let's quickly look around for things we can hunt here. I want to go for taming on the alpacas because we are going to do a nomadic thing here. I would love to have elephants. I want all the elephants if at all possible. These rhinoceroses seem like the only thing I can kill. So we're going to have to go for that. Let's go for a hunt. All three rhinoceroses. Awesome. Awesome McPossum. Uh, now, as I said before, I don't know if you guys caught that, the wildlife tab, the actual wildlife mod, it doesn't work. 
But if you check out the comments on the Steam Workshop, there's someone posted a uh, link to a- Whoa! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Uh, bad move, bad move, a bad move, a bad move, bad move. All right, okay, guys, here, take down this, take down this, take down this. Now, I'm also using the Friendly Fighter mod, so this is going to be very, very, very tricksy. Okay, Christine, do not go stabby that thing. I sound just like a rhinoceros, is, right? <laughs> Ooh, let's get Bez a little bit closer. Uh, but yeah, the Friendly Fighter mod is going to be very interesting for this playthrough because as you guys may remember if you watched the, the previous... Ooh, that was close. The previous uh, tr Nomadic Tribe. Mm -hmm. You guys like my impre impersonations? Do you like my uh, speaking of the word saying impersonations? Because I'm so good at oratoring. But yeah, uh, what we did in the previous campaign was we'd show up, we'd just go like absolutely ridiculously crazy. Um, Okay, it's getting slowed down a little bit here. And we we do tons of friendly fire to ourselves and the animals. I am going to be using tons of animals this playthrough as like a meat shield tank because the caravans are going to show up and just hit us like crazy. Uh, Bez, could you please use your pila over there? I guess you won't unless you get really close. Look at the range of that pila. It's super short. It's so short I'm not comfortable using it. Let's just do this. Here, come on, guys. Take it down. <laughs> Come on, Bez, get a shot in. Oh God, it's oh God! Bez, run, 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 run! Wow, luckily that doofus missed three times in a row. Oh God, cinnamon, run, run! This is not how I should have started this campaign. Oh God, it's coming after Bez now. It's coming after Bez. Cinnamon, get back in the action. How the hell hard is it to kill a rhinoceros? Whew. Okay, I did it. Mother of heavens. But anyway, as I was trying to say, the Friendly Fighter mod, while it's awesome, it reduces your DPS substantially. So we're going to wound our own animals a lot less. We're probably going to have a much more difficult time surviving, uh, is my guess. How are we doing out here? We're doing fine, but these things are not all deconstructed just quite yet. Uh, let's worry about... How much food do I have up here? I actually have a little bit of food, and I have some other stuff up there. Let's swing down here really quick and throw in a medicine stockpile here and here. Uh, and then these should be already higher priority. Yes, they are. Great. Let's grab this thing and set it on haul urgently. Just to get it not, uh, rotting out there. And looking good. Looking good. I'll do priorities in a minute. But for right now, I'm a little worried about these rhinoceroses. What kind of, um... Oh, there we go. It's dead. Let's hit the button here. What kind of leather? We get 75 rhinoceros hide. That's interesting. I'm gonna need beds, and the only way I'm gonna get beds is by using these rhinoceros hides. Also, Kazumi, you really do not need that parka on right now. I bet you're probably pretty hot there. Eh, you're all right. I guess you can... But the parka slows you down, so there's really no reason for you to use it. As soon as you get in here, we're going to drop it. We're going to drop it. Come on, Kazumi. Awesome. Just drop it inside there. If you'd be so kind. Awesome. You don't need it, so we'll just leave it alone. Oh, that's exactly what I was expecting! God, these things are serious business! They're serious business, rhinoceroses, but I have reaction skills of the gods, friend. And this rhinoceroses will fall to the ground. Rhinoceri? What, how, rhinoceroses? Rhinoceroses, rhinoceri. I have no idea. I'm sure I'm sure 50 people will let me know in the comments, though, because if there's anything I found out about YouTube, it's that people love, love to let other people know all the things that are right in the world. Which is actually really fun. I enjoy that a lot. Um, come on, Cinnamon. Why are you wearing a parka too? How many parkas do we have in this? <gasps> Woo, look at this, guys. Who's a freaking champion rhinoceros hunter right here? If you guys tuned in for 20 minutes to watch me hunt two rhinoceroses or rhinoceri and struggle to figure out how to pronounce the right word, well, you've come to the right place. I'll tell you what. I will tell you what. This is amazing. I am literally the best rhinoceros hunter. I feel like I'm in an actual plane. I am loving this game right now. I hope everyone's enjoying watching it because I'm having a ton of fun playing it. Oh, look at that. Two down, one to go. Uh, hit the home key, I think, sets up. No, actually, it's the backslash on the numpad that sets everybody off. I think that's from Octong. So that takes everybody off of alert in the entire map. So that's pretty good. Um, however, we've got to get some stuff going on over here. Bez, would you mind prioritizing doing this thing here, right? Kazumi's doing oh, some nice construction here, which is great and all, but let's prioritize the fighter pit because the food needs to get done before everything. 
and then we need an actual stockpile to store stuff soon. I don't have one. Whoa, 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 another one, another one, another one. It's coming after me. It's coming after me. It's not working this time, Bez. Help, 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 Bez, help. Help, Rhinoceros wants to kill me. He wants to kill me. Run! I'm slow this time. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, God, oh, God, kiss with me, run. Oh, I thought I was so good at this game. Please don't have me die. Please, why is Bez coming over here? Cinnamon, I need you. Oh, Kazumi, run, 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 Bez, get off of alert. Kazumi, run. Kazumi, run. Someone come save me. I have. I don't even have a sleeping spot to put myself into. Kazumi, run, run circles around this thing. Can I? Can I micro this? Simon, come on, Cinnamon. We need some hits here. We need some hits. Slow this freaking rhinoceros down. Slow him down so I can work on. Oh God, Kazumi's almost dead. This is bad, Christine. We're gonna. We're gonna need to go all out on this. No, no, we're not. We're fine. But we're fine. Rhinoceros doesn't know what's going on here. Nice. He doesn't know what's going on. We're fine. Oh god, sediment. Run, 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 This is just a, 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 a freaking zoo episode right now. Like, there's noises just coming out of everywhere. Christine, run around down here, maybe? Okay, do it. Do a bit of a cheeky thing over there. Let's quickly zoom, zoom furniture. Uh, think, 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 think. Sleeping spot right there. Awesome. Gr okay, Christine, run up there like this. Let's grab this sleeping spot. And make it medical. Fantastic. Let's get Kazumi over here. On alert. Rescue me. Christine, run. Woo! Look at that speed. Look at that speed. Agility, quickness. Go, go, go. That's what I'm talking about, friends. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, let's get that off of uh, Forbid over there. Let's kite this guy back down to Cinnamon. What a way to start the campaign, huh? I do kind of feel, though, this will give us a nice, good amount of starting food and also leathers to make our nice, warm bedrolls. Hopefully I'm not too wounded there. I guess we'll see in a minute. But we're gonna be fine. Kazumi, how's your, your... you just got a couple of bruises. That's fine. Cinnamon, make a run for it here, friend. We don't want you taking damage for no reason. Let's come up with heater, maybe. All right. Well... Oh, Christine's high-fiving Bez. Looking good, guys. Looking good. Everybody off of alert. Get to up. Oh, they just they, the first thing they do is they just go to sleep. Look at Cinnamon and Christine. It's the it's the formation and, and a rat, apparently. The formation of our first friendship in the colony. Bez, what are you up to? Oh, you're running away. Right. I have I have a lot of stuff to do here. Let's go uh fight on everybody. Although to be fair, I'd be dead if I think I had I done that. What's up with me over here? I've got right leg head bite bite. That's actually not so bad. Who's the best doctor in town? Uh, let's come over here to... I forget even how to play this game now. Medicine? We're looking at Cinnamon's the best doctor. I know she's really busy, but you know what? I would like to not be wounded forever. Uh, let's put... Okay, let's do defaults here and go for colonists there. Uh, let's go to the medical tab really quick and switch everybody over to herbal meds only. For the most part, Kazumi looks like she was tended to. No, actually she was not. She's got a couple bruises. We'll put another sleeping spot in right here for now. Actually, let's put these where they they need to go, which is all in here. All three of you guys, you're all medical. Fantastic. Uh, I'm getting taken care of. Awesome. We'll come back over there. Good. All right. Well, that could have been better, but it also could have been much worse. Uh, who's my best constructor in town now? Uh, construction. We're looking at Bez. Bez, what are you up to? You're taking a nap. You know what, Bez? I want you to not take a nap. I'm going to interrupt your sleep. Now's a good time to do it because it's during the... Um, New colony buff. Or whatever. Like, we all have the new colony. Let's take a look here. What is the... the D? Extremely low expect... Oh, there we go. New colony optimism. Four days, four hours. I'm really hoping someone makes a mod that makes this new colony optimism apply every time you settle a new colony. Or for everyone who settles in the new colony. Because it's insanely difficult. Ooh, here's a ton more steel. It's insanely difficult, though, to caravan and then to settle into a new area and have no house, no no beds, no nothing. Everyone's angry and mad, and there's just, like, it's it's a nightmare to get that put together. It's always, like, the biggest point of contestation in this, in, or at least in the previous series. But this is all looking fine. Nice, we got that done. Bez, would you mind coming over here? Oh, you're back to sleep already. All right, well, we'll let that go for now. How long till these things are rotted? Ooh, three days, really? How the hell are they refrigerated? It's 42 degrees out? Huh. Okay. Well, that's good. Carnation, our warg. He's not gonna... Let's see if we can keep at least Shira alive for most of this campaign. Let's also grab Cinnamon when she wakes up and grab her... Oh, I got another mod here. Oh, does it work? Oh, it does. 
Another mod here that adds a four times speed and it is automatically bound to the four key. So that's pretty frigging awesome. So I can speed that up when I'm waiting for things like this right there. We can grab this bed now and get rid of that. And as soon as Cinnamon wakes up here, we're going to drop off this parka because we do not need parkas. We really don't. Okay, she finally woke up. The problem is she ran outside, so I'm fine. She can just drop it outside. It's 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 fine. Uh, let's go into Restrict really quick. Let's set this up. I always do this so people can just sleep uh, whenever they want to. But they start sleeping here, and then as soon as they're done, they wake up. I think the four schedules are much more uh, time-wasting. But I'll get more into detail about that later. For right now, i got to chop wood. Oh, wait. No, I don't. I actually have wood right here. We've got 442 wood. All right. Let's do this then. Let's set up a stockpile zone maybe back here for all of our resources. And I'll make it like that big. Awesome. This will be kind of a default stockpile. We won't allow rotten stuff here. We... I suppose we can allow foods there. That's fine. We can allow basically everything in here. Except for animal corpses and chunks. And that's, that's a pretty decent setup. Okay, we'll go for that. And then let's swing over here and expand... Build roof. Uh, also... Ignore a roof area. That's interesting. Is that new? Ignore roofs in this area? I don't know. But we're going to build a roof area up over all of that, just like this. Perfect. And now I'm thinking like we just need to get up and get things done here. These rhinoceros hides we can turn into all of our foods and whatnot. Nice. Bez is putting these things together. Awesome. Let's come in here. By foods, I mean beds. Let's go for our butcher creature. We'll do this forever. Beautiful. And then this fighter pit, I think the first thing, these are going to be, I mean, it's going to go straight for jerked meats. It makes a lot of sense. We'll just do it forever. Something simple for now. Very simple. Who's our cook, actually, now that I think about it? So probably, probably me. I hope not. I'd like to not be the cook this time around. Let's look at cooking. Uh, Kazumi can be the cook. All right. That's not a bad idea. I suppose we can have Kazumi be the cook this time. What's Kazumi's other stats? It's either me or Kazumi, really. And if we take a look at characters here, I'm going to look at the characters in a second with all their social interactions and what they think of everybody. Kazumi's a melee medicine cooking. All right, yeah, that's perfect. She can stay inside and be basically like the, the homebody who takes care of these things. So let's set up a little bit of priorities here. Where is the work tab? There we go. Work tab. We'll do manual priorities. Awesome. I want to do something similar to what I did before, but this takes a long time to set up. So I may do it between the first and second episode. Uh, for now, though, firefights number one, patient number two, doctor, if you can do it, probably number two, or even number one. I'm going to have to mess with this a little bit later. Bed rest two, all plus, you know what, three. Uh, we'll do flicking. I don't think there's anything to flick, but we'll do like a three all around here. Looks good. Can I go back to uh, the default? Yeah. Warden. We only have one warden. It's going to be Bez. We'll put that up there in a one. Cooking is going to be Kazumi. So by default, the first work priority is going to be number four. So let's let's make everything like a six. Everything a six, and then I can work from there. You guys can probably watch this stuff if you're bored by watching all of this. But awesome. I got to do grow zones. I forgot about that. Whoopsie daisy. All right, let's let's stop worrying about this for a second here. And it does look like people are getting the food done, at least a little bit. Let's make sure Kazumi, though, is on a four for cooking. I'll put me on a four for right now as well. So just we make sure we get these things taken care of. Uh, let's get the grow zones going. Forgot all about it. Grow zone, rich soil, right over here. That looks like a great place for our food reserves. We'll do something like this. Great. We'll grab here and we'll make this something simple like rice. Then we'll come down here and do another one. And this one we're going to make heal root. Awesome. And what do we need to do after that? I actually kind of forget. Do I want hay? I think I probably do want some hay, but hay doesn't really need good fertile dirt. So we'll just make a hay field like right here. Probably 10 by 10 is more than enough. I'll do 9 by 9. Uh, hay grass, right. And then I need to do smoke leaf, right. Smoke leaf is very important for this playthrough. Where is more fertile dirt? We actually don't have any. Any, I have some over there, which would... Like, you know what? I could do some corn over there. Some long-term corn. All right, let's do that. Rich soil. We'll put up a whole patch over here. We'll make this corn. That way we have a very little time spent running back and forth because corn takes three times longer to grow than rice, but uh, yields like 3.1 times more food. It's just more efficient hauling-wise. So running back and forth, uh, that'll be good. I, I guess I'm just going to have to do a regular... 
a regular zone here for our smoke leaf. Smoke leaf is very important to manage the caravan unhappiness. Uh, smoke leaf. So once you get into a new colony, you basically everyone has to use the smoke leaf to keep themselves like from mental breaking constantly until we get our uh, small little base set up. But speaking of a small little base set up, what's going on here? Uh, first of all, we need to go to back to restrict here. Let's go up to speed two a little bit. No, assign. Manage outfits. Let's go to select outfit anything. Let's go to a body gear and let's get rid of these parkers because they're slowing us down and we don't need them. Out of gear. Ooh, winter cloak, tabard. I, I miss these things. All right, off with the parka. Great. Uh, now all of you guys should take that off and you should throw them up here and we're good. Uh, meanwhile, Kazumi, what are you up to? You're carrying steel to sandbags. Now, why would you be carrying steel to sandbags when the what you should be doing more than anything... Kazumi, stop eating the raw meat. Just come over here and cook. Not even sure why you're not, to be entirely honest. This is pretty slow now that I'm looking at it. We may need to do two of these fighter pits to be entirely up to speed here. So let's do that. Let's do another medieval fire pit. Um, let's toss it like over here in the corner. Awesome. We'll copy the same thing. Just in case. One butcher is probably good enough. I've been sitting here like sleeping forever. Wow, I got tended extremely well, surprisingly. Let's have me come up here and prioritize butchering these things. I'm sure they're almost dead here. Yeah, they're spoiling a day. So there goes one. I don't want them to spoil because I really want that stuff. Whoa, Bez is, e okay. Bez is eating the jerked meat cedar. It looks good. Butchering these things up. Me and Kazumi are going to town now, just like we should be. Perfect. This is what I like to see. We're eating the jerk meats. I think we ran out of pemmican, did we? Let's actually turn that parker off so I can get tossed into the storage. Did we turn the... Yeah, I think we ate all the pemmican. Right, let's let's turn on uh, all the... Expand all these things here so we can see what's going on. So I have 174 rhinoceros hide, right? The first thing I need to do is production, structure, furniture... It's bedroll. Bedrolls take 50 cloth? You gotta be kidding me. They take 90 rhino hide. No, they don't. They take 50 rhino hide. Alright, so I can make three of these. That's unfortunate. Let's just toss them in here. One, two, three. Like my bedrooms? They're really, really good. <laughs> Look at the wildlife tab. What do we got out here? Um, No more rhinos, that's for sure. Don't want to go for elephants. Those things are crazy. Don't want to go after boom rats. I don't want to have to really go after ostriches or emus or rats. I guess I could make cloth. I could grow some cloth. I don't really want to, but let's do a, a, a small little grow zone down here at like six by six. Awesome. And we'll turn this into cotton. Okay. Now it's really a matter of making sure things are getting done the way we need them to. So we got food coming up. That's one thing. I think Kazumi and myself can take care of these things. Bez was a constructor, right? Can we have her come over here? Uh, we need steel, really? I thought we had some over here. I guess we used it all. Oh, for the sandbags. Let's remove these floors then. Awesome. That'll give us a ton more to steel. And let's come up here and grab all these walls. Select similar. Awesome. And deconstruct those. That's all the steel we're going to need for pretty much forever. At least on this little base for this tribe. This super lame tribe. Let's toss in a door here. Right in that location. Beautiful. All right, now, Hunter lacks ranged weapon. Who is this? Christine, why is she even set to hunting? She's a melee expert. She shouldn't be doing hunting at all. Let's just get rid of that on her. Awesome, no more hunting for you. I know we need beds. I'm working on that. I got three of them coming right now, and the other two, I don't know. Minor break risk, we need defenses. We have sandbags being put in over here. That'll get taken care of eventually. Food's the most important thing. We've got that. Then we need to do the growing. Let's check on growing really quick. Who's going to do the growing? Rubber does growing should be doing plant cutting as well. All right, we got three people here on a growing. Let's, uh, as usual, uh, turn that down, though, to a four. Anyone who can do growing should be doing it very high. Same deal for plant cutting. It's usually higher order. Actually, no, let's do growing five, plant cutting four this time around. I'll, I'll mess with the rest of this later. Oh, I see. I didn't set all these things to six yet. Oopsie daisy. No wonder why we were doing hauling before cooking. All right, mess with all this later. That'll work for now. We did actually get a little bit of hauling done, though, which is nice. And here we go. We're starting to plant, it looks like, or at least harvest these agave, if nothing else. Are we going to have a decent amount of food for a while here? Yeah, a little bit, if we can get this stuff going. And now it's time to take a look at the new Relations tab. Oh, my God. The Relations tab is weird in 4K. Switch to circular layout. What the hell? How does... Whoa! 
That's the factions tab. Here's my colonist tab. All right, so if I look at Cinnamon, nobody likes her. She doesn't like no one. Look at me. I like Kazumi a little bit. So you can see the green arrow over there. That's kind of cool. Look at Kazumi. What do you know? Oh, wait, no, it's going... So it's showing that I like her, but she doesn't like me. This is actually way more useful. It's just going to take me a minute to get adjusted to it. Christine doesn't like anyone. Bez, pretty much. So we got no colony relationships going on uh, whatsoever right now. No surprise there, but... Did we get rid of all of our parkas? We did. We have growing done. Visitors are coming in now. Let me just think for a minute. So food defenses, we've got that kind of coming in. We got basic food. We got beds. We got structures. We got roofs. We got chunks out of the way. I think we're going to be okay here. Believe it or not. Where are these visitors? Hey, friends. Gabe. Oh, look. They're, they're wearing some really strange medieval, like, loincloths and stuff. I love this. God, I wish the medieval mod replaced, like, every faction with just medieval. That would be awesome. I think there are still pirates, though, with guns, unfortunately. Uh, let's come down here with my number one talkie talker, who, as I recall, I have literally no idea who that is. <laughs> Gotta learn these new colonists. Where the heck I Work tab? Yeah, there we go. So it's Bez. All right, Bez, you're the de facto talker. Let's go do some trading. We can trade them our... Apparently, we have four parkas somehow? How do we get four of them? Where did they even come from? I don't understand. Cloth parka, cloth... Where did all these parkas come from? I have no idea. Did we start with four of them and I didn't even notice? That's possible. In any event, they have Psychoid Pico... Picoe? What the heck is this? A fragrant tea, or fragrant tea, which can be drank to induce a weak euphoric effect. Very easy to produce, but be very wary of addiction. Huh. This is new. Yeah, there's a lot of new stuff in the medieval mod I haven't gotten around to playing with yet. Tiredness times 90, pain times 90, rest 10%, work to make 7, joy 40% chemical. Interesting. Interesting. Techno socks! <laughs> oh boy, those are still in the game apparently. Uh, well, we don't really want anything. We'll sell these guys our parkas, or at least one of them. They only have $114. I could buy a knife from them, but I don't really want to. I could buy some medicines, but I can grow some. So I'm feeling like we're good here. Why are Techno Socks art is my question. But regardless, uh, we're, we'll just sell them one thing. We'll get a little bit of money and we'll call it a day. We'll call it a day. All right, I'm gonna turn on to four times speed now. That's working pretty good, 60 FPS. I got my meals, let's expand that. We only got five of those. How much more meat do we have here? 377, all right, Bez. This is gonna spoil really fast here. And we're cooking it really slow. I think it takes longer to jerk meats than it does to cook like stew out of them. Maybe I should just go for stew. <gasps> a, now, a new town. Christine thinks we should give our faction a name. What should our faction be called? Let's see here. What should I, what would she call a town? She would call it, like, a uh, good town. And then I would call it super dumb town a lot. All right, there we go. A good town, super dumb town a lot. Uh, what are we going to call our community? As a community, I feel like we're going to call ourselves after me. So I'm going to call us Xavier's Zero Xenophobic. Since we do indeed hate the guys with the guns. Uh, xylophones. I had, I had something from Long War a long time ago. What was it? Xenophobic uh, zeros. Spelt wrong. <laughs> Perfect. All right. As usual, I've come up with the most apt and appropriate names of all time. You guys get this stuff put together here. I'm working on that. But it looks like we're lacking wood to refuel. But Kazumi's working that fast. Bez, please come over. Okay, we... Why do, why do we need material steel? Oh, no one's come down here to rip this floor apart. I see. Let's have her go do that really quick. Not really quick, I guess, because it's across the universe. I should have gone up there because she, she was probably already working on taking down those walls. So this is actually very inefficient. Okay, Bess, come back here. Wait a minute. Do you only get like five on every other one? Okay, now she should be coming up here. I hope what she's doing is working on the fighter pit. Let's work on that. I don't know what she was doing, but we're going to manually prioritize fighter pit. I don't know who's going to work on these beds. We'll get on that soon. Who's our best crafter, actually? Is it... What? What is making beds? Is it construction, I'm guessing? That seems kind of weird. It seems like it would be tailoring, right? But I'm, I'm going to guess it's construction. So that being the case, it's going to be bez again. All right, bez, as soon as you're done here with this fighter pit... 
Okay, great. Uh, let's work now on making these bed rolls. It shouldn't take very long, and then we'll at least have some beds for a few people if we need them. Awesome. Super awesome. Eat up your jerked meats there, make another bed roll over there. Perfect. We got three rhino hide bedrooms, guys. Really nice bedrooms. Not, not claustrophobic at all. Look how good Kazumi looks here. Oh, my meat's rotting away. Bloody hell, where am I? I'm cooking. Kazumi, you need to wake up and prioritize this meat right now. Why can't I... Oh! Wait a minute. Why can't I uh, have her prioritize cooking the meat here? I'll prioritize cooking, reserve... Oh, I know why. Because I need to copy just this bill. Come over here and let's paste it in. Awesome. Now we can take her and come over and prioritize... That, it was never even on all that time. Not that it mattered. Let's get the rest of this meat done. It's going gonna, it's gonna to spoil in just a matter of minutes here, so... I should probably be... Whoa, a chunk of spacecraft had fallen nearby. That's a lot of spacecraft, but I don't care none about that. Don't care none about that. All I really care about here is getting these things put together. Nice. We've got some... Uh, some roofs coming in. That's something. I would like to put this wall in. Bez, where are you? You're taming an alpaca. And now you're taking a nap out in the rain. Well, I suppose. I suppose you can do that. I just don't want this 75 meat to rot away, because that's all the food I've got right now. Did we ever get this rice going? No, but we did get all of this stuff going amazingly. That's pretty good. We got some of this stuff going down here as well. Okay, not bad, all things considered. What we really need is lights, but for lights, uh, I'm going to need to do something with medieval. I'm going to need to do some more research, actually. I wish there was a medieval version of the research bench. Production, furniture, simple research bench. A little bit strange, but whatever. We'll toss that in here, uh, or maybe down here, or anywhere, really. It's kind of, it's so cramped in this place. We need some joy sources now that I'm thinking about it. Oh, there goes my rhinoceros meat. But only 57 of it, so we saved a decent amount of it. Let's toss in a hoopstone ring in here so people can have some, at least a little bit of fun. At least a little bit of fun. That's weird it didn't tell me I need a joy source. Maybe I have one of some sort? Maybe the fighter's pits counts as a joy source? I have no idea. No idea. Every time I see Carnation here, I want to say, what in the Tarnation? I'm probably going to end up saying, like, what in the Carnation repeatedly every time he does something stupid. Assuming he survives for more than five seconds. Oh, here we go. Christina Cinnamon are out here to plow the fields. Planting that rice that I needed to plant the priority number one, but we didn't have it priority number one. This is actually coming along, guys. I like this base. I'm now planting as well. We got okay amounts of wood. Sort of. Did I use all the wood? Okay. As I say that, I realize I have literally zero wood. So, <laughs> let's go back to wood choppies, shall we? Can I... Uh, can I... Wow. Look at how little wood there is in this base. I can chop that wood. Let's look at the world map, right? I could maybe send out a caravan to the tropical rainforest to chop wood and come back. And quite frankly, that sounds like a really, really, really smart and really dangerous idea. I like it a lot. A wood chopping expedition. What are these? Why do these look different now? They have a different texture or do they just look better? I don't know. The whole game looks better to me now for some reason. Heat wave. All right. Um, that's extremely unfortunate because we don't even have our walls put in yet, but we're about to. We're there we go. Now we have all of this actually together. So I think this is all indoors, indoors, indoors. Yeah, it's actually 97 degrees, 100 degrees, 38 Celsius. We're getting hot, guys. It's getting hot in here, as they say. Uh, let's throw down some of these things here and here. We're probably going to need at least three, but I'm going to guess four. That's 200 wood, right? How much wood have I chopped up? I have no idea. If I click this and I double click, what do we got? 209 wood. Let's haul that urgently. All right, looking good. Everyone's hauling in that wood. Now we can get Bez over here to prioritize working on these coolers. High priority, or better yet, maybe even put in that door so we don't have to run back and around and all that nonsense. Uh, yeah, let's, let's, do the, let's do the door really quick. Okay, awesome. She chopped that out, put in the door, and now she's putting in the hoop. All right, now she's actually working on all these things. Beautiful. Although, unfortunately, she's working on the bench rather than the wood. And I'm not sure if I have enough wood for that, or the wood cooler, that is. What's the deal with food? We're down to eight jerked meats. That's going to be a problem soon. Let's work on this cooler over there. Hopefully this keeps us all together. I think what I can do is grab all these doors, right? Shift click that and this off and we can hold those all open. And this should take care of our heat issue. Hopefully. Let's get rid of this heat wave here. 
Uh, we still are in need of beds, that's for sure. Poor Slate's just out here hanging out. Do monkeys have advanced training yet? They do. So I'm gonna have hit Slate be like an infinite hauler of, say, Slate? Oh my lord. You gotta be- you gotta be kidding me. It looks like that is indeed possible. That is cool. I can have all my animals haul. Okay. Well, we've got all our coolers in here. What's the temperature? 59 degrees? No way. Out here, we're looking at 94. Nice. It's like toasty. Or not toasty. It's like, uh, freezy, freezy fresh in here. Perfect. We've got a research bench as well. Let's go now for some... One of the things I did in the last season was I went for a Devil Strand really quickly, and I do want to do that this time around as well. But I want to go 200 into Medieval Technologies first, because I think you get Braziers. Yes, you do. Let's do that. Although I think I'm going to need Stone Cutting in order to use make use of them, so that may not be so helpful. I would love to get Devil Strand done researched before I leave uh, next year. Uh, such that I can use it to plant and harvest before the end of year two and have all Devil Strand clothes for maximum defense. Speaking of maximum defense, 47 minutes, friends. That is normally the episode, but since this is the first episode of the series, it will be a double episode and it'll be an hour and a half long. Uh, that being said, it's a good time to point out this is the first episode of the series, so I very, 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 very much appreciate the likes on this episode. Uh, they really help it to stand out and enable people to find this episode and bring in some new viewers, which indeed brings in five cents of ad revenue, which indeed uh, enables me to actually make these series. I'm not kidding. It, it makes all the difference in the world. It's like a full-time job at making videos for me, but it pays like uh, probably about half as well as working at McDonald's, unfortunately. However, it's a hell of a lot more fun. So I very much appreciate the support, uh, the clicks, and... Also, the Patreon support, too, now that I think about it. Uh, but all that being said, what's everybody getting up to here? Believe it or not, they're doing hauling, and I'm feeling very happy about this. We've got our corn planted. Whoa! First raid of the campaign. I got a new mod here that shows you the number of raiders, again, in the description down below. Let's go see what this is up to here. Who is this doofus? Maytel? He looks really cool, but let's get the whole colony on alert. Let's get down here and get set up, right? He's gonna come in from probably... I hope he comes in from that direction. I want to be all set up here like this. Uh, let's get my melee experts, which is Christine over there. Uh, I am ranged, so I want to be like right here. Actually, right there is fine. Bez is ranged. She can be right there. Kazumi, your melee go right there. And Cinnamon, you're ranged. Put you over here. Bez, you can go right there. Awesome. Let's get all of these characters. And I think it's, um, I think it's control numpad one. Yes, yeah, so all my range characters are now control numpad one. Where the hell is Christine? Please tell me she's not getting attacked. Okay, good. Uh, her and Christine will be control numpad two, and now I think I can hit control... I can hit numpad one and two here to do it like that. Awesome. Here we go. First raid of the campaign, friends. Oh, no! Slate! No! Ooh, they're coming in! They're, what the hell's going on? Christine, get in there! Oh, my lord! Kasumi has been shot to death and two animals went on a mental break because of- What the- What the- And Maytel- What the- Shira and what incarnation are fighting each other now because Kazumi just got randomly shot to death? How did she get shot to death? What the hell just happened? Guys, what the- Now Christine's really mad! She's really mad! Because Cinnamon seems to be pretty happy with this turn of events. What the hell just happened? Shira's berserker rage has come to an end. Oh my lord! First death of the campaign, five seconds in. Nine hours here, and whoever this is, female berserker. What the hell did she do? Wow, she's got some berserker. Okay, let's strip her of all her awesome stuff. Steel plated boots. Ooh. Mega sloth, wool tailored socks, plated gloves. Let's go to the psyche here, character. Staggeringly ugly, but a careful shooter who's a grower. Freaking Kazumi. I guess I'm the I'm the town chef, guys. I'm the town chef. All right. It had to happen, right? You know it had to happen. Let's do, uh, bed, bed, bed sleeping spots in all these places. Let's make this one a prisoner bed. And let's have me come over here and let's go for a capturing of a Maytel. What the hell happened to Kazumi? So a cut caused Kazumi to die. Xavier's short bow arrow punctured Kazumi's torso into a holy mess. That's beautiful. That is beautiful. I have friendly fighter mod on, but because maybe because of the smoke I missed... I shot Kazumi, and then she got cut and died. Kazumi jabbed Maytel with her spear shaft, jabbed her head without a motion. Wow, okay. Maytel missed Kazumi. Kazumi, wielding her spear, skillfully, painfully jabbed Maytel in the left tibia. 
Metel hit Kazumi with a clobber from a bandit's hammer bashing her torso. So Metel, of all things, bashed Kazumi's torso. I shot Kazumi in the torso by mistake, and that's what killed her. Oh, that was the cut that killed her. That was- I killed Kazumi! What? God, me and Steejo. I need to get Steejo up in this place, friends. He, it's so much better having him here, because he takes all the heat. He takes all the heat and that allows me to- my uh, shenanigans to go unnoticed. That means everyone's gonna hate me. Very ugly environment, very cramped interior. Pessimist, little paint, slept on the ground, slept outside, slept in the heat, in darkness, ate without a table, observed corpse, uncomfortable, colonist hide, new colonist hope. Oh my lord, Maytel, do we have any chance here of recruiting you? 71% we do. We do. Oh wow. Berserker's changed 73% though. I want Christine to stay alive. She's our stabby stabber. Let's have her go over there and force wear that right now while I have the opportunity. She's currently asleep. Let's wake her up and have her come over. What the hell? Heavy sleeper. She's a heavy sleeper. So she doesn't give a damn that I'm telling her to go do stuff. <laughs> this is just like real life. Every day I'm like, Christine, wake up. It's time to go take the cat for a walk. And she's like, go to hell. She has this story, actually, uh, that her little brother used to be tasked with waking her up. Uh, and so she would go in there and one day she just punched him <laughs> like in her sleep, not even realizing she was doing it. And he went like, she must have been, I don't know, five or six and he was like four. Who knows how old they were. But regardless, ever since then, they've been like, hey, uh, Johnny, you want to go wake up Christine? And he, she's, he's like, no, thank you. So if you ever see me say no, thank you, uh, that's why I say it in exactly that phrase. But oh my lord. Ooh, we have an exceptional hammer here. Title. Trouble. This bandit's hammer counts as artwork that's called Trouble? <gasps> Blunt metal or melee hit plus five. A combat focus hammer made of wood. Trouble. This weapon is engraved with a depiction of a civil tree. The subjects are in front of a mesa and the image is totally devoid of both honesty and kindness. Yeah, that sounds like Christine. God, I wish she would wake up so I could give it to her. Who's wearing all this stuff? Nobody right now. Who stole the socks? Who the hell stole the socks, guys? Who stole the socks? Cinnamon grabbed the plated gloves, the steel plated boots, and the mega sloth wool tailored socks. All right, we're gonna have to have her drop all of that stuff because we need a melee expert to to have it. Kazumi was the other melee expert, and she her melee expertery caused her to survive zero seconds. That was that was great, absolutely great. Also, I'd like to point out that as true to my campaign, uh, someone died from a torso hitting zero percent efficiency, number one cause of death in all of my campaigns. Torso torsos at zero percent. Left leg was bitten off. Oh, I think uh, I think Kazumi's actually being eaten over here by Carnation. Carnation, you gonna be all right? You gonna be all right? Oh, actually, no, you're not. Cause I don't have any animal sleeping spots. That's something to think about right now. Uh, let's go for animal sleeping spots. Uh, I suppose here and here, and that's pretty much it. We can probably put another couple in here, I suppose, if nothing else, so we have spaces for them. Carnation can go now. Hang out. Carnation is wandering on a psychotic state. Mental break. Berserk. Sheeter has gone berserk. So apparently, Carnation was bonded. W were they both bonded? I don't understand. I've never seen two animals going berserk. That was crazy. So what did we lose here with Kazumi? God, shortest character survival of all time. That's so sad. She was super happy and super immune. <laughs> I like how the one person who was supposed to survive with super immunity died from a torso being crushed. Oh, God, she was a cook and a medicine a doctor, so the cook doctor of the town. That means I'm the de facto doctor now. Bloody frigging hell, guys. Bloody hell. All right, Christina's woken up. Let's have her come down. Oh, she's actually automatically going up there to wear that thing, which is pretty cool. She's going to rest. Let's have her come down and equip this bandit's hammer instead of that jade knife. Awesome. Awesome McPossum friend. Let's haul this urgently so it doesn't get destroyed. I guess we've got to make a grave site for Kazumi, and I can't afford to make a... um. I guess I can make a wood sarcophagus, but then the, the enemies just come and they, they blow them up all the time. So I could maybe make a wood wall here and put in a wood sarcophagus, but here's the problem, right? Here's the problem. We got no wood on this map. I need to plant some trees maybe. I was thinking about that. We're just going to have to go for a basic grave, unfortunately. We'll put it right out there. Uh, let's have Bez. What are you doing? Hauling jade knife. All right, as soon as you're done with that, nice. Building a grave. Actually, that's awesome. Burying human corpse. Wow. Everything's getting done in this colony. That's insane. I can't believe things are getting done. I bet we have no food, though, right? Yeah, I got zero food. Oh, bloody hell. Bloody frigging hell, friends. 
We're gonna have to hunt something here. Emu. Uh, we got nothing. We got rats, squirrels. I guess I'm gonna have to go for ostriches and emus, and I know they're pretty dangerous. Now we're gonna have to work on hunting here. Uh, cinnamon has a five, and I have a four, but I'm also the. Oh, I have a 12 in shooting, though. But you know what? It's gonna have to get done. Let's put that up to a four and a four on both of them, so that happens before most other things. And you know what? Mining. I think Christine has a one in it. Bez has a five. God, I'm going to have to... Even having Christine with a passion on it at a one is going to be terrible. It's going to be terrible. We do not need both of these things running now that I think about it. Can we actually uninstall that for now? Just to prevent the fire from running? We have a, a little bit of berries, so we can make some food that way, maybe. We can do some harvest. Uh, okay. A few agave here. We got a few agave. There's some there's some out there. A little bit of free food on this map. Wow. All right, how long till my rice is done here? Uh 24% grown. Heat wave is over. That's nice. So because the heat wave is over, let's grab all of these things and deconstruct them to get some of the wood back before they run out and they're completely useless. Oh wait, you don't get wood back from them. So there was no sense to do that. All right. Well, uh on the plus note though, Bez is coming around cleaning stuff up, which is nice to see. Uh carnation really needs to be tended to. And I do have animal sleeping spots, so why why that? What the hell in Carnation is Carnation doing right there? Whoa! I just killed a emu over here, which is pretty cool. I want to bring that in and immediately butcher it up because I have a, a butchering and food cooking right after hunting. I'm gonna throw the meat out there. I'm gonna cook it up over here. Let's start putting in a little bit of uh, stockpiles now that I think about it. Let's do a meat stockpile. You know what? Right there. That sounds good to me. And then this meat stockpile should be higher priority. Yep, it's important. This one out here is normal. And then that way the meat should be right next to here. And if I put a bench underneath that, we won't have to even reach to go get it. So should I put in the bench right now, though? I don't know. I don't know. It's, it's really... Whoa! Cinnamon's gotten sick from food poisoning jerked meats. Let's put that down there. Okay, we should put in some floors. Just some very basic floors here just to prevent uh, food poisoning in this room. Speaking of food poisoning in this room, let's grab all these doors and un unhold them open now. And let's come over here to go to more floors. Oh, wait, I have a new mod uh, for uh, some additional floors beyond more floors. So I got all these kind of cool tribal things. Maytel has gotten food poisoning from jerked meats. Guys, I'm a little bit concerned, though. What the hell's up with Carnation here, right? He's wandering around blood loss. He won't go to bed. We have beds for him. He's allowed in the animal area one. The animal area one is... Expand allowed areas, animal area... Oh. What? Are they not allowed in here? I'm pretty sure they are. Uh, I mean, Sheeter is in there, right? And she's all patched up. Oh, you know what? I think all of our animals... I'm going to do this because we don't have very many um, things here. Active animal policy. That's not the one. I'm going to go for medical tab. Let's go to animals. Let's turn them all to no medicine. I don't, know, I don't know what the deal with Carnation is, guys. He just won't uh, he won't go to sleep over here, and he won't pass out, so I can't go save him. So, I don't know. He'll have to deal with that on his own time, I suppose. Is he still... Oh, he's wandering in a psychotic state. I see. I see. All right, well, I'm cooking up some stuff here. Let's, let's, do, a quick, uh, let's do a quick comparison between jerk meats and weak stew. So, jerk meats give us 0.75 nutrition with 10 work. And weak stews give us 10 work, 0.8 nutrition. So they're better. Requires 0.3 nutrition. How much of the jerk meats? They require 0.5. Yeah, they're just straight up better. I should have been making stews this whole time unless I actually need that. So let's, uh, let's set up one of these things finally. We're going to do this until we have X. The X is going to be 4 times 2, that's 8, 16, 24, so I'm going to do, uh, let's do, control click that, yeah, let's do 20 meals total, do until we have X. Uh, we will pause it when we get down to, let's say, 10, we'll start cooking, actually, no, let's do it at 15, just so we're not, no, let's do like 12. And let us just drop it on the floor, looks good. Uh, for this one, I guess we will use meat, uh, so we'll do that. Can we actually just do, copy just this bill and then paste it? Awesome. That's actually really cool. So let's copy this bill here, paste the bill in, move it up. The first week stew, then, I'm going to shut meat off. So it's just vegetables and animal products. The second week stew, then, should automatically be the meat. Awesome. Uh, however, it does... I know it does copy all this stuff in. Perfect. Okay, good. 
So that's that's uh, adequately set up there, but we're going to need a lot more resources pretty soon uh, to hunt. So can we find anything else? I got a couple ostriches, a couple rats. No, nothing new is hit on the map. Oh, that's unfortunate. No dot, stop it. Stop it, no dot. She's trying to slowly claw her way up to my face and lick it while I'm playing the game. Super licky cat. All right, well, let's haul these things out of the way so we have, like, some sort of defensible area here. I should probably make this and this a sandbag eventually. Do I have more steel up there? I do. All right, you know what? Let's actually do that now. Let's deconstruct this and deconstruct this. And who's going to do any research? I do need to do get somebody doing research, right? Let's go take a look over here uh, on the Moody. Oh, the Moody's a little bit busy over here. Let's go for intellectual it looks like bez really likes it and christine mental break sad wanderer so bez or christine will we'll swing this uh back up though sad wanderer final straw was feeling terrible bez what's the problem here with you according to your character or your needs everything sucks like literally everything sucks i bet everyone hates me too let's look at social really quick Yep, negative 11. Killed colonist. <laughs> what a great way to start. Hey, Mattel, you want to join? You want to join our, our base? If so, we'll upgrade you to a place where you can sleep that has no grass on the ground. I swear it's going to be a great place. Eight corpse, very cramped interior, monorail paint, hideous environment. Yeah. Uh, I was talking about floors a little bit before, right? Let's go for more miscellaneous. No, what is it? Floors? Yeah. Let's do some of these new floors. These require hay, thatch, floor. Log floor. I would actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I kind of want to make some weave floor out of hay because I have so little wood here, which means I'm not going to make any wood or uh, any floors right now. So I think all I need to do is pretty much nothing. We have an animal starvation on carnation. Animal starvation on carnation, friends. God, the rhyming is all the timing this episode. He wandered around in a mental break forever to the point where he almost got himself killed. If we get any infections, we're probably screwed. I also don't have the Psychoid D that helps with the infections this time around because that's part of the tribal tribal experience mod, and that mod is no longer updated. It may get updated, and I may reinstall it, but it's had a lot of overlap, so I'm not sure if I will reinstall it. Escape? Oh, thank you, game. An escape pod has crashed nearby. Hey, Gooey. Hey, Gooey. Uh, let's have someone come down here. Christine is just covered in blood and looks incredible. Let's have... Oh, I wanted to have Bezdo because she has the talkie talkies. But maybe someone else can do talking at all. Uh, you know what? I don't know. Let's come over here really quickly and look at... Uh, until I memorize what all, all my colonists can do, I'm going to be a little bit confused. But in, yeah, in terms of wardening, Cinnamon can do it. She's got a zero. I can do it. I got a zero. Bez is the only one. She has an eight. I don't think it matters. Actually, I'm not sure if it matters or not when you rescue someone. How long until Gooey's dead out here? Gooey is actually in no immediate pain. If I don't go save him now, though, he's just going to get up and walk away. And I can't really wait for Bez to finish her sad mental break. So let's have Christine do it. Let's go rescue Gooey and pray that he joins the colony. Or do we even want him to join the colony? Well, he can't fight, but he is neurotic. Neurotic art. Neurotic cook. <gasps> A neurotic cook would be incredible. That would free me up from cooking. Oh, come on, Gooey. Join the colony. God, look at Christine's character portrait up here, though. And she's just, it looks like she's just covered in blood. What an evil murderer, like, bloodbath character. Unfortunately, I cannot believe I shot from here to there, even with the friendly fighter mod, still hit Kazumi and still killed her. <laughs> Kazumi got hit twice in the torso. Twice. That's all it took. That's all it took. Uh, we're eating just raw berries now, but we do have some meat up here. I got an ostrich I can work on. I got a lot of stuff to do here. Gooey, any chance we could recruit you? No, you can't. Um, we are going to patch you up pretty well, though. So once you get uh, woken up, I think... you'll. Gooey is no longer incapable of walking. That means he's just leaving. So we can, uh, we can capture him. But for right now, I think he's just going to walk out of the base. Or she's going... Oh, it's a female! Gooey, the, like, rotund female, friends. He's a space refugee. I think she's just going to walk out of here and she's not going to join the colony no matter what we do. So what we could do is have Christine come down here and arrest her and try to get her that way. Let's not build a copy of that. That's, that's, that's not, not medical. It's prisoners. Let's have Christine come to... Actually, no. Isn't wardening supposed to be... Wardening supposed to be arrest, right? Um, so you have the best chance. And I can't even do this unless I have at least everybody set to warden on a nine, right? That's one of the things I always have set up there. Oh, Bez, any chance you'd like to break off your sad wanderer here so you have a chance to recruit or capture Gooey? Probably not. All right, let's have Christine come down here. 
Uh, get her on alert. Right click. Try to arrest Gooey. Let's see if we can get her in the in the colony. If we can't, we'll just clob her over the head with a with a club. Cause that's oh, whoa, she submitted to Christine's might. I suppose that's something, right? I suppose that's something. There we go. Put her off of alert. Fantastic. Let's come in here and go to 81% chat and recruit. Who cares? Uh, what's her deal here? Steadfast, neurotic. Oh god. Uh, she's mad at us though, because we imprisoned her. Awful prison cell, slept on ground, ugly environment, in prison, negative five. Yes, she is. Well, we're going to have to build some more stuff here, right? But we have, like, zero wood in the whole universe. I think I've already hauled it all, so I'm pretty sure this is all the wood that there is. Yeah, I got 102 wood, and that's everything that I've chopped everywhere. Is it possible for me to make a grow zone here for trees, like, that big? And I come over here, what kind of tr tree would I plant? I think poplar? Pop popular? 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 God, I've been watching too many PewDiePie videos. PewDiePie. <clears throat> Never mind, those are the old ones. Now they're just like, he just says popular a lot. And now I can't say it either. So Bez is starving. We've I am cooking up some stews here, though. Very slowly. And we do have some agave that we were harvesting, so we've got that. Hauling's getting done. At least I've got all my jobs done. Like, I'm on top of hauling. Ooh, starvation ahoy, friend. We got 83% here on the rice plants. Or starvation, like, salvation, ahoy, I should probably say. And, yeah, that's right. I was talking about something else before I got in that big disaster. And the something else was having someone do research. And it was either going to be Bez or Christine. So, all that being said, Christine has no real crafting skill. I do. I'm going to be like the homebody here. Let's shut her off of that while I'm thinking about this. I'll turn the speed up while this is happening. Who was my fast walker? Was that Kazumi? Heavy sleeper. Oh, no, that was the character I mistakenly re-rolled. It was supposed to be Kazumi, and then I ro rolled her into a new character by mistake, so I have no fast walkers. So there's no one who really needs to do hauling and cleaning beyond anything else. Let's do research on a five on Bez. Bez seems to be not very good or not very liking much of anything. She can be the animal handler and the doctor. I don't like having her be both of those, though, because that means everyone's going to be chasing her around. Uh, what might make sense is to give Bez, like, the hunting role as well. I think she can do that, right? Yes. All right, let's do that for her. Let's take it off of me, even though I like the shooting, because I'm going to have to be the cook. Uh, and then Bez can also have all these animals trained up to go uh, follow her around. Now, here's the problem, though, with all of that, is that I need to have food to train them. I got very little food right now. So until I get that rice going, I'm not going to have to worry about it too much, actually. So when Bez is not doing animal handling or construction or mining, she'll do research. I should probably do the research... Above, oh, I guess we need to hunt right now. Bez is no longer wandering as sadness. Okay. Starvation on Bez. Well, we have some food out here. We got five stews. Go have at it, Bez. Awesome. There goes one issue. Low medicine, low food, minor break risk. All right, well, outside of the fact that everything sucks, everything's not bad. I mean, you know, you just got to keep things in perspective, friends. You just got to keep them in perspective. Anything new to hunt in this world? Nope. One more ostrich, actually. Yes, I don't want to hunt the elephants. I remember doing that in my last campaign. We are planting these trees. That's going to be a ton of work that takes a long time to get done. Maybe I should actually have Christine work on research over plant growing. So we'll put that on a four just to start getting some stuff done here. I really need to get the basic medieval thing going. So I get some lights, get some environments. We need to get stone cutting going as well. How far is Christine going to work on this? Let's see. She's got a four. Bez has a four. Bez loves it. Christine only likes it. So ideally, we would have Bez do it, but Bez is busy with animal stuff right now. Although Christine could do animal stuff as well. She's got a nine. And we could have, but she can't hunt because she has the melee. So yeah, I don't know. Nothing makes no sense right now. Let's come, come into the animals though. And let's turn all of these on training. I want to go for obedience on all three of them. Just so I can have them follow Bez, if nothing else. That's an ostrich that's dead that should be chopped up here. Where did uh, Carnation go? Training him on obedience. Awesome. And at least this way I can assign them all to one hunter and have my one hunter be kind of guarded. If nothing else. And then who are these animals friends with? Bond with Kazumi dead. Shira, bond with Kazumi dead. What a, what a stroke of luck though, right? Bond with Christine. Christine has a pet monkey named Slate she's bonded to. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Why is her real name White Bat? That's weird. Uh, in any event, research is coming along pretty well here. Uh, I do have some foods to hold us over a little bit. 
Not much. I'm butchering up that ostrich finally. I have so little wood, and I'm using the wood to keep this fighter going, and that's going to be the next uh, point of contention for sure. So let's come in here, orders, chop it, chop it. Any wood I can find at this point, you know, whole map is, is, is in game. There is, I've never seen a map with so little wood. I'd love to tame me some elephants to hunt or uh, to tank for us, but we're gonna have to make do with what we have for now. These things ever get deconstructed up here? They did. We can go up here and remove all those floors. Get some more steel hauled in eventually. Christine's out here uh, doing all that. Great. All right, well, so far, so good, I suppose. We just need to work on uh, the environment, but I don't have any wood. I really need stone cutting, I think, for that. We're going to have to just make stone or just not even do stone floors. Just live with a dirt floor. It'll be fine. One thing I can probably do is cut all the plants out of here to make it a little bit cleaner. Ancient danger. Okay. Right over to the right side of us. We're going to avoid that like the plague for sure. And I'm cooking up some stews here. Cinnamon's eating the stews, chopping things up, cleaning things up. This is good. Plant cutting. Let's make the work a little bit higher on cleaning instead of hauling for everybody. Let's make sure we get cleaning done, like, all the time. Except for Bez, just in case she has to do some research. Ah, this is kind of peaceful. There we go. Bez is doing the research. Why is she not doing the cleaning, though, is the thing I don't understand. What is the clean zone set to? It should be the home zone. And the home zone should be pretty big. Yeah, we got a lot. Oh, my first harvest, friends. Yes. Now we're talking. Let's come up here and make a vegetable stockpile right there so we can have an infinite stockpile of stuff being made or being grabbed. I would like to put benches in here, but quite frankly, I'm kind of glad. Well, I did actually put one in over there, unfortunately. Uh, can I make these out of something else? Silver steel. I can make a steel bench. All right, I actually have more steel than wood, so I'm gonna actually I'm gonna make a steel bench. Sure, that's what we'll do. Uh, Psychic Sooth helps out a little bit. Every cause of the female gender. Bez couldn't be any more happy. She is super happy right now. Wonderful, eating up the one stew in the colony apparently. All right. Um. How long until this cloth is growing? We can make some more beds. 38%? That's going to be a long time. How long until the next wildlife is ready here? Boom, red elephants. Oh, wait, another ostrich? Let's toss that in. We just keep getting solo ostriches. I'm a little confused that people aren't cleaning, though. Let's take a look here at this. So Christine's doing research on a four. That's what she should be doing. Cinnamon's doing hunting. Ah, that's what's happening, because I just set something to hunt. And I'm usually doing cooking. So, really, it's just Bez, and Bez uh, has the hunts. And so does Cinnamon. I guess both Cinnamon and Bez have that. And they both have also growing to do as well, which means they're going to plant all of this before they clean. So, you know what? We really need to get the, the, the base at least a little bit clean. Let's have probably the best doctor. Bez will have you go on a cleaning on a four, then... Or you know what? Let's have uh, actually Cinnamon do it on a four. Above Hunt on a three, actually. We need someone to clean up. There we go. Cinnamon will be the de facto cleaner whenever she wakes up. Get this uh, get this colony put together here. You know what else I could use up here is a nice... Uh, there's a medieval thing, not a fighter pit, but like a place you could put logs. That'd be a great thing to have in here. I suppose I could just put a stockpile here for logs so they don't have to run outside. It's not that big of a run, though. There's my one ostrich looking good. Free fuel in that, and then cooking like the wind, friend. Cooking like the wind. We're going to make all these weak stews out of basic stuff here. Let's take a quick look at this fighter pit. What else can I make? Dried berries, dried agave fruits. Yeah, they're, they're all going to be fine. I think we don't need to do that. Burn pemmican. We don't need to burn anything. Burn a power roll, burn drugs. Nah, we're good. mutel has gone food poisoning from berries. Okay. All right, well, we're, we're getting somewhere. Bez is down here trying to recruit, so that's good. Simon woke up and cleaned up the whole base. A million things just happened, friends. New recruit. Bez successfully re recruited May Mattel. 7.6% chance. Thank the heavens, Bez. Making up for my mistakes. Making up for my mistake. Let's see. I've got Cinnamon on the list here already. Kazumi was on the list and died, unfortunately. Uh, Bez is on the list. Who is this that we've got here? Mattel is another female. God, I didn't, I didn't prepare to have a 100% female colony, unfortunately. 
Uh, I would have rolled up some more female names. Uh, so what I'm going to do here is... I think I'm going to wait till the end of the episode to re- or to the start of the next episode to rename Mattel. She does not have a sidearm there. That's interesting that sidearm art actually remembered that she had that as a pirate or whatever. Huh. But regardless, let's do the same old settings as everyone else. 3-2-3, three, three, Hall plus 3-3, three, three, great. Uh, Mattel here, for now, can probably go on... Let's do Hauling 6, Cleaning... I don't even know if we need to do Cleaning 3 anymore. basically nothing too clean. Let's actually make the cleaning a whole new cleaning zone. Or I can make like a defensive zone. Okay, let's do this here. Wonderful. Let's make an alert zone. That actually makes a lot of sense. Ah, we finished medieval technologies. Okay, great. So let's go to research here. Let's slow down for a second. Do I want to do more medieval stuff, which would be nice to have defenses, but no, I don't think I do. I might need to go to either stone cutting or devil strand. I kind of want to go to devil strand. No, let's go stone cutting first. Because I have no anything whatsoever, and that'll be, like, a big help. Uh, let's also finish up these walls here. Oh, wait, that's not supposed to be walls. That's supposed to be sandbag. Sandbag, sandbag, beautiful. Uh, and then for the new medieval stuff, what do we have now? There we go. Now we're talking. We got stone hearths in here. We got smoke. Oh, they look really cool. Why are they so weird looking? Wooden smokehouses. Steel and wood. Okay, that could help us quite a bit. Uh, small table, the braziers, light reflector, reflector, blacksmith's forge already? Interesting. Uh, I want to make some steel braziers, though, so we have some light. Uh, that's very important. Let's put one in this room. I think we should have at least one in this room. Maybe even two. Uh, something like that in this. Sure. And then maybe one over here as well. Do I really need one in there? Uh, I think you might need light now in beta 18 for, for for this stuff. I'm not sure. What I was doing, though, was setting up an order before. Manage areas. We want a new area. Actually, area one can be the one. Let's rename this. We'll call this uh, Quanturantine. Uh, that, that looks good. Let's make the Quanturantine zone now. Expand allowed areas, Quanturantine. We'll make it inside the base. Uh, and then we'll make the cleaning zone probably inside there as well. I just want to make sure. Oh, let's expand the moody a little bit as well. Bird meat has rotted away in storage. Cinnamon, are you working on the cleaning? You are, but you're cleaning a lot of weird stuff that I don't care about. Let's, let's clear the home area, right? This is not really... I know that if a fighter goes up there, it's going to be terrible, but I don't want to be cleaning it, so... Yeah, I'm just going to let Cinnamon just do one oh, a full once over here, clean up all these like rocks and debris. It's not going to take very long. I think she's actually already done. Awesome. Let's set our de, our de facto cleaning zone now to the Quanter team. Herd migration. A large herd of elk is passing through the area. They won't attack unless provoked. Holy hell. Is this new? Is this a beta 18 thing? That is super cool. I need elk desperately. If I try to do this, though, are they going to go on, like, a massive group defense and murder me? Uh, if they do, I'll literally lose the game. Wow, that's a lot of elk. That is such a cool thing. It feels such a, such a, like, the game is alive now. I, th I also installed a mod that, uh, I'm not sure if I installed it. I may not have installed it. I don't think I did, actually, now that I think about it. It adds, like, extra caravanning events, so you can, like, you can have an event nearby, like, outside on the world map where there's a caravan, some animals got, uh, separated or whatever. You can go, like, tame them or kill them or sometimes their friends wanted to go. I thought about putting that in. I don't think I did, though. Maybe I did. I think this is just a beta 18 thing. I really, 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 really want that both that are meat. That is so many elk. Another ostrich. Let's go hunt that. But I think it's too dangerous. If, if they go on a group revenge, we are screwed. But imagine if I had like a huge base with lots of traps and stuff. God, that would be amazing. That'd be absolutely amazing. Oh, speaking of uh, hunting, look at this Bez is out here. Bam, taking down that ostrich with two pilas. Beautiful. Absolutely, absolutely beautiful. All right. Well, there we go. Do we not have the steel? Now we do have the steel. It's just that the construction's not getting done because we have nobody doing construction on any kind of uh, any kind of fast-paced thing here. Let's do someone on construction. I think it was Bez. We'll put that onto like a three. Very rare. Or I guess it should be a four technically. Hunting should probably be a five. Yeah, that makes a lot more sense. I want to try to space this out more because in the past I would only use like one to five, and I really want to just spread it out a little bit. 
But I'll redo this between the episodes and go into depth and like expand everything and figure it all out. I don't want to do that now. It's too boring. It's too boring. Let's see what Bez is getting up, gonna get up to when she wakes up. How many uh, ostrich leathers do I have here? Twenty. That's it. Oh wait, no, I got. There we. Oh, hold on. One hundred and fifteen. You know what that means. You know what that means, friends. Let's go for. First of all, let's grab these sleeping spots here. Let's actually deconstruct them. Bez, your sleeping spot is gone. That's unfortunate for you. We are going to go for furniture. Rhino hide? No, let's go for ostrich. A couple of ostrich sleeping bags right in there. Beautiful. Every colonist will have their own sleeping bag. Gooey won't, but that's too bad. Yeah, I can't expand these rooms to make them less ultra cramped because there's more important things to do right now. Bez, what are you up to? You should be feeding rice to Gooey. Okay, yeah, that's right. You should be uh, doing that. Now you're playing hoop stone. Well, that's interesting. They throw rocks down in the stone. Hopefully this meat gets made, spoils in one day. Yeah, this is all spoils in less than a day. And I'm really working on all this rice pretty much constantly. How long is it till this rice gets rotted? Kind of a little bit of a, a while. So we're okay there, I think. I need to find a better way to cook faster. This is just not working well for me. You know how I can do that, though, is the smokehouse. 25 steel, 50 wood. Let me just toss that in here. I've got most of the stuff I need, but I'm going to need some more wood. Let's go orders a choppy choppy. Whatever the wood is, wherever the wood is. Wow, is there no wood. Uh, okay, well, there. I've chopped up pretty much all the wood on the entire map, I think. That's insane. That is insane. Okay, you guys are working on this, but I'm going to disallow sewing there for now and make sure you go sew the rice instead. And we'll turn that back on in a minute. Oh, Mattel just ate some raw meat just as I put down some stuff, but oh well. Oh well. Okay, let's grab this stockpile here. If I can find it. Vegetable stockpile, storage. Let's refuel this if less than... Uh, if less than 50%, we'll, we'll do that. It's priority important. Great. Same deal over here. I guess I, no, that's fine. We'll leave that alone. The meat one should always be like a generator right there anyway. Uh, and then we can probably... I kind of want to haul all this stuff priority, but I, I at the same time don't just want to let it all everything happen the right way. Christine's out here chopping trees, which is great. Getting us a whole bunch more wood. Yeah, nice. Christine and Cinnamon are doing a good job. Chopping whatever there is. I also have the um, hauling mod, whatever, while you're up installed this time around. Several people suggested that I get it. I didn't want to for a long time, but I did anyway, so I have it now. It seems like I am really... Oh, the zone orders. What a freaking idiot. I, I was wondering why this was going so slow, and it's because I didn't reduce the, the range, the ingredient range, to nearby. Whoopsie-daisy. I knew I was doing something wrong. I haven't played in a couple weeks. I forget. Imagine if I didn't play for a couple months. Wow, it'd be, like, painful. No Dot, stop fighting the pig. Stop it, No Dot. Well, that's chasing the pig into the window. All right, that's a lot better. Now I'm actually cooking this meat instead of letting it rot here. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And the hauling should come in. Of course, bird meat has rotted away in storage. Of course, now that it's raining, all of this stuff is sitting out here. Is it going to get this? Oh! It's a raid. They'll prepare for a while and then attack. Number of raiders, three. Thank God for that mod. Makes it so much easier. We got humps. Uh, we got Val and we got Worm. And they're all going to come in and attack us. You know what? Uh, normally I do a one hour, 30 minute episode. This has been an hour and 25 minutes and I like to end on raids. So why don't we end here? Just a five minute short, I suppose. But there is a raid. This is not terrible. It's probably, I mean, it's not good. It's not terrible though. This is season number one basically is done. We've got three more seasons before we're going to have to pack up and get out of here. Uh, by then, I need to have a whole bunch of ingredients. I need to have some defenses. I need to have my uh, technologies done. I need to get some lights in. I need to get my colony up and out. I need to build some more space. I need to have, uh, uh, you know, everything. Basically, everything. In any event, this is pretty good. I like it. But yeah, uh, I guess that's that. If you enjoyed the episode, hit the like button. Oh, Christine, you freaking doofus! If you hated the episode, don't click the like button. Oh! And uh, once we're returning, we'll see if I can keep Christine alive. Until then, thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon. Come on, Cinnamon. Why are you wearing a parka, too? How many parkas do we have in this? <gasps> Ooh, look at this, guys. Who's a freaking champion rhinoceros hunter right here? If you guys tuned in for 20 minutes to watch me hunt two rhinoceroses or rhinoceri and struggle to figure out how to pronounce the right word, 
Well, you've come to the right place, I'll tell you what. I will tell you what.